Hey guys! Yeah, I don't do updates very often on my channel because I am the least professional YouTuber in history. But I figured I'd do one because we have all kinds of changes that are coming. And have already come that I haven't really talked about on the channel. Unless you're watching my Twitch streams, but that's another issue entirely. You should be watching them, they're fun. At least I think they are. Pl please tell me they're fun! Let's start with the YouTube channel itself. I've gone back to uploading twice a week, which is much harder to do on the YouTube channel, especially with all of my other projects that I'm doing, but I'm going to try to do it consistently. It's going to be at least one video a day, but I'm going to be trying really, really hard to push myself to get back to doing two videos a day at about 30 minutes a piece, depending on the video. You guys might've noticed that some of the Xenosaga videos were much shorter than 30 minutes. That's usually because I'd be recording for half an hour to an hour, but a lot of that would get cut out because it would just be the fights and stuff like that. Things that I'm not commentating over, so I cut it out. For YouTube, it's going to be me trying to get back to two videos a day and actually making use of the community tab on YouTube, which I have not really ever done. The second one is my secondary channel, Miss Scarlet Games. I call it the secondary- used to call it the secondary channel, but it's not really a secondary channel anymore. It's its own thing. On that channel, I'm going to be uploading once a week. It's going to be sort of eclectic. I have some ideas for it. It's going to be a lot of retro video game collecting. So I'll be going through my collection, talking about what I do for my collecting, what others can do, um, what I do to take care of my consoles and take care of the games that I have, and also some little things about how to game on a budget, some of the ways that I've found to get games cheaper or to get a lot of games for cheaper. Because I am not. <laughs> I am not rich. <laughs> I am the opposite of rich. But over the years I have collected quite a lot of games. And also on that channel I'm going to start dipping my toe into doing retro video game reviews. I already have one that's written out, I haven't filmed it yet though, but I have all the footage for it. I just need to film the voiceover part and then edit it all together. I'm also going to be trying to put a little bit more effort into the editing on the secondary channel. Less so on the main channel because I've got that sort of down to a science, I've got that editing down to the way that I like it. But if you haven't, please go follow my second channel and subscribe to Miss Scarlet Games. You'll be able to see that it's... Just an eclectic bunch of random vids that I used to put on there, but now I've got an idea of where I want it to go, so it's going to be more consistent. Another change is I have a new channel because I don't have enough hobbies. <laughs> it's a little bit to do with a secondary channel because on the secondary channel I used to upload a series that I called the Video Game Codex, or The Codex, where I read out in sort of an audiobook format the different diary entries and files and codex entries that you might find in games like Resident Evil or Skyrim. I ha the first one that I started was reading the books in Skyrim. I decided to move that to its own dedicated channel called the Video Game Codex. So I've moved all of the videos from Miss Scarlet Games over to that channel and that's where I've decided to start to upload twice a week, once on Mondays, once on Fridays. If it does well, I'll go to three times a week and put a video on Wednesdays as well. But, so go follow that one as well, <laughs> it helped me out a lot. Twitch! I am streaming four times a week on Twitch, on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. I decided to drop the Saturday stream so I could focus on all of my projects a little bit better and being able to bring the main YouTube channel up to two videos. I play sort of eclectic videos, or eclectic games, I don't really have a... I'm not like an Overwatch Twitch channel or something. Though I do play Overwatch occasionally on my Twitch channel. So if you want to see what games that I'm exactly playing, you can check out my Twitch at twitch.tv slash MissScarletTanager, just like with the YouTube channel. And it has I have a schedule up there, it should be updated, and it, it'll say what I'll be playing on each particular day. And then I usually let my Twitch chat decide what game replaces one. So once I finish, say, Hollow Knight, I'll let my chat decide between a couple games what should replace Hollow Knight on that day, and then I'll go and change it on the schedule. For those who don't know, I have an Etsy store. You should be able to find the link in the description. It's also still just Miss Scarlet Tanager. <laughs> I don't really use other names on most things. But I sell all kinds of nerdy little things that I make. I sell Legend of Zelda candles. I just started making my own soaps that I'm super, super proud of. 
They are really, really cute. I'll have to put a picture of them in the video because I don't have one on hand. They're in the basement. But they're cold process soaps, and I'm very, very, very happy about them. It helps support me and it helps support the channel. So hopefully I'll be able to quit my day job. It already hates me and is trying to kill me, as I've bitched about before. But that is my t May 2021 goal, actually, is to get to the point between YouTube, Twitch, Etsy, and my Patreon, more on that in a minute, in order to be able to be self-sufficient enough that I can quit my day job and focus full-time on creating content for you guys. That's the goal. 2020 was definitely an eye-opening experience for us all, and I like what I do here, and I want to make what I do what I do for a living. And in that vein, I have a Patreon. I had not really talked about it very much because I've never really sure exactly what I wanted to do with it because I don't really want to gatekeep content behind a paywall. For the most part, there are some caveats to that, but I have decided to talk a little bit more about my Patreon. I'm going to put things like outtakes from the videos from my secondary channel, my retro video game collecting channel on there. I'm going to put videos from the video game that I've been working on called Aeon on there. It's very, very slow going. It's mostly just concept art and me messing around in Unity right now. But that sort of stuff will be on Patreon. And also, you guys might have noticed that in the credits of my videos, I now have a scroll of all the patrons. So if you are a patron on Patreon, you'll end up on a video scroll that is at the end of my videos. Tiered out by, tiered out by size so you can see like the different tiers. But... So that's the Patreon. Is there something else? There's something else I want to talk about. I technically have a spreadsheet. I was reminded of this on my birthday on January 24th when a friend of mine's boyfriend went, Hey, I got a sweatshirt from you. And I went, I have a sweatshirt? Yeah, I have a spreadsheet and I completely forgot about it. I've overhauled it. So there's also that. Let's see here. I should have made a list of all the stuff I wanted to talk about. Anyway, that's sort of the big channel update. To end sort of conclusion, two videos on the main channel every day. At least one, but I'm going to try to consistently get to two. One video a week on the Retro Game Collecting channel, Miss Scarlet Games. Two videos a week on the Video Game Codex, at least. Four streams a week on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. And also those will be canceled if I get a scheduled work shift at my day job on one of those days because... I won't be able to do both the stream and my day job because of how exhausting my day job is. But at the moment, because of COVID, I have not had a scheduled shift in months. <laughs> Yay! More changes to the Patreon in order to give a little bit of um, a little bit more content to the Patreon without keeping stuff behind a paywall. Though there is going to be now that I remember the thing that I almost forgot. There is one thing. For patrons who pledge at $5 or higher, or Twitch subs, I'm going to start doing a movie night. I haven't decided exactly what day or time, but we do have it all set up, it's all been tested. So if you are a patron on Patreon, or you are a sub on Twitch, look out for some announcements when I start talking about when we're going to have the first sub night. I don't think it's going to be February, because I'm still getting a bunch of things set up just for all of my channels and all of my content in general. But yeah, keep an eye out for that. It's most likely going to be on a Sunday. I'm thinking either the last or the first Sunday I haven't decided yet. That was the one that I forgot. <laughs> okay. So yeah, YouTube, main YouTube channel, Let's Play YouTube channel, Retro Recording channel, Codex channel, Twitch channel, Patreon, Etsy, Spreadshirt. I have a website, MissScarletTanager.com. There we go. That was the other last one. On that site is just sort of an amalgamation. It has links to all of my different Twitches and YouTube social media accounts. It has an art portfolio that shows some of the artwork that I've done for the game that I'm making. And it also has a blog where I just sort of talk about random shit. <laughs> but if you guys want to see that, it is MissScarletTanager.com. So, with all of that ranting done, I'm going to go get something to eat because I have to stream in like an hour. My name is Scarlet Tanager and I'll see you all in the next